Oh my goodness. Hey everyone, it is May 1st here and we are halfway in the market this week so far and today Jerome Powell came out and uh, he pretty much gave the news that we've been wanting to hear here where he said rates are going to stay the same. Amazon came out with better than expected quarterlies. Thank God, which helped save a little bit of the market. And after Jerome Powell talked, you know, everyone seemed okay with what was going on. The market shot back up a little bit. Everyone was like, okay. Uh, the loser today is Starbucks. Man, people are P.O.'d right now with Starbucks. Starbucks had the worst quarterlies they have had in four years. And people are mad because, you know, it's like the, the, the investors in it, you, they're going, could you not have told us could you not have told us that they're going to be this bad you know uh, the starbucks ceo came out and he gave a speech and it kind of fell flat it was not the best thing he, he probably should have really thought about what he could have said there anyway um who knows what's going to happen there with uh starbucks i mean obviously they are extremely expensive with their product but um he didn't seem to think so so we'll see what happens there let's talk about sofi let's talk about fubo um so these are two different things i i want to be open and honest with you i don't want to lie and i'm going to be completely honest what i'm thinking i might do here um and this is probably going to happen in the next uh, 24 to 40 hours here with both these stocks so let's see talking about sofi first um sofi came out with their quarterlies they're good quarterlies they weren't um they weren't groundbreaking they but they did beat quarterlies um it just wasn't like they didn't go like over the barrel it wasn't like an amazon report here but they they're, they're still reporting good quarterlies they're still on track for next year to be huge for them and that's still and, you know sofi is gonna be one of these stocks that if you hold on to it long term it's going to extremely pay off for you and obviously the ultimate goal with this is that you know you buy in at six seven eight dollars right now even i think even ten you're still doing very well and then a year two years from now we're talking about this stock being potentially you know anywhere from twenty to forty dollars <throat> minimum and potentially we would see a dividend later on down the road so with that and that's just the key bullet points right there with that now i don't want to talk about sofi so much because i just made a video about them and, and talking about them but with sofi releasing this quarterly you know obviously the stock just continued to tank i mean it it, it was like maybe sofi is going to five dollars but I, I know a lot of people, a lot of people that, um, really just a few people I follow on, uh, in the stock world, they were doubling down and buying SoFi. I was doubling down. I have been doubling down and buying SoFi. I have been trying to scrap up as much SoFi as I can comfortably get right now. So, and that kind of brings me to my next situation with, um, Fubo here. Fubo will be releasing quarterlies Friday. They will be releasing quarterlies. So tomorrow, if not Friday, we more than likely should see this stock probably shoot up around 10 to 15, 20, 25, hopefully, percent. Um, so it, we could see this go back to $2 for a minute. But here's where I'm going to be open and honest with you as, um, as someone who has a lot of money wrapped up in Fubo right now. Um, I, I, this is kind of where my head's at and this is what I'm thinking and this is what I'm doing. At, so I have to be open and honest with you. Do not do what I'm doing just because I'm doing, do what you want to do as your own investor. Um, you know, I am, as we all say on here, I am not a professional by any means, but I have to say that. And you know, I, I, I am not a professional and yes, I do understand that people say I just ramble on, but for some reason, people still come here and watch the channel and it's doing well. I don't get it, but it, it, it we're here. I'm four years in. It's still going. I don't know. I don't know. So with Fubo right here, here's the situation. I'm holding a crap load of shares with this at $1.87. $1.87 is where I'm sitting right now. If I can get out at $2, anything above $2, honestly, in the 90s at this point, the 190s, but $2 and above, I'm gone. I'm out for a moment. Here's what I'm thinking. I think Fubo will move here. I think it will move on these quarterlies. The last quarterlies, we saw the same thing. We hit around the 240, 245 for a split second, and then the stock after earnings just started to crash. It was actually after 
uh, earnings came out and then it market opened and then by 10 o'clock the thing was going it was under two dollars so i remember it like it was yesterday and it wasn't that long ago um but with that you know we saw the, the stock just tank and i, I think it's going to be a re repeat of that episode i think more than likely we should see a of a we should see good quarterlies with fubo here so I'm expecting that we're going to have um, Super Bowl money attached to this. I mean, th this is Q1 reports here. So this is going, this will be attached to that. So we're expecting huge quarterlies here. And probably a little bit of March Madness money wrapped in there too. So th we're expecting this to be a really nice quarterly for Fubo. And uh, it, I mean, there really should be no problems with it. If there is, that's, that's a real big issue. So we're just going to go ahead and say, yes, they're going to have good quarterlies just for the sake of my theory and my thought right now with what's going on. The stock goes to $2. It goes to two ten. Great. I personally will sell out at that moment. I will sell out and I will probably hold that money and I will buy back in probably at like 130, 120. That's what I'm thinking. Now, why do I say the stock is going back to 120, 130? I say that because the general market is still not recovering. Yes, Jerome Powell gave his little speech today and stuff, but in all in all, it wasn't life-changing to where it's going to really drastically shift the market by any means. Um, we're still in this barren market right now where the market is trying to figure out where it's wanting to land. Um, companies that sh should be up are not up we're seeing so many companies right now release co good quarterlies release revenue crazy revenue uh it, you know f even going into next year they know the revenue is going to be really good these low cap stocks right now but they're just not producing big numbers they're still taking damage because we are just in a f this market is not supporting those kind of things right now um so with that you know being selfish, my theory is that I want to buy more of Fubo right now, and um, and that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, I, I four main stocks that I'm, I am just throwing money into right now are SoFi, Palantir, Tesla, and Fubo. Even though I've stopped in the past month um, because I knew this was coming up here. Um, and then there's cryptos I'm putting money into, but those are th those are the ones that I'm, I'm just constantly every time there's a huge sell-off, which we're seeing a lot of lately, uh, despite Tesla. With I'm not even going, I'm not even talking about the Tesla thing right now. I've already spoke on that. I am not going into that. But this is kind of where my head's at right now because a of all, like I said, the market is just looking for somewhere to land. Second of all, B is that we still have this huge elephant in the room with Fubo right now. They're still wrapped up in this lawsuit. And frankly, I don't care about the lawsuit. I don't care about the lawsuit. The thing with it is, is that in most investors and most big firms right now seem to care about this lawsuit. Um, and that that is one reason the stock is so hijacked right now by time where it's just not moving it's losing more steam um, and, and that's just what we're seeing now the flip side to that if there could be a positive to what my negative is what I'm saying here is that I do believe in Fubo. Fubo is releasing great quarterlies. Their subscription towards people um, where they're going to be next year even analysts are coming out writing huge articles and saying, hey, we think Fubo within six months from now is going to be $5 to $7. Those articles are out there. You can find them. Um, it, it, you know, this is one of those low in stocks, low cap stocks right now where everyone's going, this thing should be triple the price it is right now. So this isn't me making a cutthroat video about Fubo. I, I love the company. I've made tons of videos on them talking about them praising what's going on with that um, but I just think it's going to take a lot of damage even with good news on good reports because a of all I don't trust the general market right now and um, you know it, what the law the lawsuit regardless whether it 
they win it, they don't win it, they come to a neutral agreement. Um, I still think Fubo will do really well because they're already so established of who they are and where they are. They're, they're, they're actually a really big company and they're very well known, especially in, this, in people that want their sports entertainment. And you know, I, I get it. Fubo still is a company that's very new in this industry. It has a market capitalization that's still below $600 million. So there's a lot of growth, but I, and I've said this before, I think the one thing that is scary is that, and I think a lot of people are thinking this and they're saying the same thing, is that f they're going up against, it's a David and Goliath situation where you have Fubo going up against, you know, the Goliath, uh, you know, David and Goliath situation. Um, but I, I don't know that, can David pull this one off here? Can Fubo pull this one off here? So that maybe, I don't know, that was the right thing to say there, but, you get what I'm saying here is just, you know, how much money does Fubo have to spend on this long drawn out thing? And is it, are we ever even going to know that it's resolved? You know, they really have not said a lot of things publicly about it um, to give investors a, a lot to know on. And obviously the CEO sold some shares and it's just, there's things that are going on behind the curtains where people are going, what is going on with this stock? So. You know, the only real big positive with this company right now is that they're having great quarterlies. They're getting very popular. They're they're making money. Um, it's just this, and I know some people don't even care. Like I've heard some people t that talk about this company, they don't even care about this lawsuit. And I, I really don't either. I, I think the main thing, I don't care in the sense of like, Who's gonna win? I think Disney's gonna do something regardless. They they've always tried to do some kind of sports package, and they'll eventually find out something. But Fubo has its own lane too, and it's already established itself in this market. Um, and it would take a lot to take it down. Now the thing is, is how much bigger can Fubo get? And if they can conquer the sports sector even more. It's really going to push them as a company and what people uh, are already wanting from them. So it, it's just how much money is going to be drained in this into this lawsuit right now. So that's that's kind of the thought right now. And, and you know that's what big big corporate investment corporations are really thinking of right now. They're like, should we sink you know X amount of money into this company right now when they have this active lawsuit going on? And I would say. Most of them are sitting at a huge table having the same conversation. They're going, no, no. Uh, the stock is almost at a dollar. Um, obviously, we're nowhere near a reverse split at the moment, but it doesn't take long for it. You know, once a stock gets below a dollar, that's when you should get, that's when you get very nervous. That's when things go, okay, this is not good. Because then, then a, a, a timer starts. You know, NASDAQ goes, hey, hey. You've got so much time to get this thing above a dollar or we're going to be having a conversation here very soon. We're going to give it, give you a year, six months, let you make some decisions here, but eventually we're going to do something here. Um, and that's where things get really scary, especially when you have shite load of money wrapped up in this. Uh, you know, you know, people, common investors with their 5,000, 10,000, 500 bucks, whatever you got in a hundred bucks. You know, it's still a lot to you, but there's some, you know, obviously these companies, you know, these investment firms, you know, when they're buying, you know, 500,000 shares, 5 million shares, you know, you're talking about a ton of money, even for a stock that is below $2 a share right now. So I, I just, I, I think that's the general consensus, consistence out there right now with what the thought process is right now with this company. So, <clears throat> Friends, I hope that was, you know, I, I got that out there in a, you know, a calm and collective in people understanding what I'm trying to say here. Um, I, I don't hate both these companies. I love both these companies. I want them to work. You know, I, I've thought about, you know, I, and I, I was even thinking like, should I sell just all my Fubo and put it straight in the SoFi? Maybe, or maybe uh, NVIDIA. I, I've been buying NVIDIA too. I, that's I, obviously I should have said that, but um, you know, should I just, is, is it too risky to be in FUBO right now? And that's the thing, like how, how much more damage is this thing going to take? Is it going to be bled even into like an 80 cent, 90 cent range? It could, it could, it could. So 
This is just me kind of saying this. If you're wanting to get out, these next two days might be your only chance. But you got to do what you want to do. I know, I know what I'm probably going to do. So if you see this thing go to $2, know that I'm out for a moment. A moment. Um, I, I would feel comfortable buying back in at 140s or 130s. Because I do believe that it can survive to the next quarterly after this quarter. After this quarter. So that's kind of my thought process right now. But this thing organically going to $2 right now that's not happening it is proven that it's not going to two dollars uh sofi on the other hand if sofi ended the year at you know 10 15 dollars be more than happy that would be a pig in mud that would be amazing especially buying it right now at a six seven dollar range even eight dollar range man you're you're doing something right here if that's if you're putting money in the sofi especially if you're if you're just looking for something to have as retirement you can't go wrong here. Friends, I'll talk to you soon. Take care, everyone. Best of luck out there. Still two more days in this market with a lot of quarterly, big quarterlies coming out with companies here. The market could tank here. Who knows? Well, it's already tanked, but it could take more. It could tank more for sure. Friends, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.